Team Jackson, what's happening? I got a DM I want to discuss with y'all from a brother. He asked me, why is it that broken women are so hard to love? But of course, a lot of people got different definitions of what it means to be broken, so I asked him to be more specific, except what he defined wasn't a broken woman. He described a woman that was slow to let him in due to what she had been through previously, both physically and mentally. And I said, bro, that's not broken. That's guarded. And yeah, it is harder, but she's worth it. Because according to him, he was trying to love her, meaning that he wanted something real. So for a guarded woman who's taking her time, she's more likely to one, recognize a real man and appreciate him. Like, ain't nothing wrong with a man or a woman that's moving fast, as long as they're being ethical. But when you moving fast on the dating scene or in anything, really, you always going to miss something. Like, if you leave the house and forget your keys, it's probably because you was moving too fast. Or if you cooking and moving fast, you're going to miss a step. Same thing with a woman. If she on the dating scene moving fast, all dudes are a blur, so she's going to miss the goons. So, for a guarded woman who does show mutual interest, but she's a little slower to let you in, she's less likely to look over you for these thugs and these bad boys y'all claim all women do. The second reason why guarded women are worth it is because she's going to give you her all when y'all do get in a relationship, if you earn it. That's why she requires more investment on your end, because she knows she ain't going to disappoint. And that's the thing about a woman who gives her all to the wrong one. She'll show herself what she's capable of, and she'll just be like, damn, I did all that for him and he wasted it. The next one's going to have to come correct, because this ain't for everybody. Number three. If you're a good guy, then you've probably been through some shit. And ain't nothing like being with a woman who's been through the same things and knows there's just some things you don't do to people. She learned that lesson the hard way. And now that she knows better, she's going to do better. And by do better, I mean more due diligence in evaluating the guys who want to be in her circle. So yes, it's going to take some time. It's like if you want to get hired on the spot real quick, you can go do that as a cashier somewhere. But if you want a six-figure salary, you better be prepared for a lengthy interview process. The fourth reason why guarded women are worth it is because... Those women who aren't heavy on the scene are the least likely to have you competing with what's on the scene once y'all are getting to know each other. Like a woman who's just been staying to herself and taking care of herself, she's more likely to hold you to the standard of who you were in the beginning as opposed to holding you to the standard of all the dudes she dropped to be with you. It's just like us dudes when we were running the streets with different girls and we still got that taste in our mouth. Soon as something go wrong in a relationship, we start having withdrawals and reminiscing on how it was in the good old days. And for a guarded woman who's dating here and there but not really on the scene, she's going to have a lot less emotion to clutter from all these dudes she likes enough to entertain but not enough to go forward with. And I know you're thinking, like, if she ain't got nobody, then she should be wide open for you. No. I mean, her slate is clean, but she also knows people want to rush and scribble bullshit these days, so she's still going to take her time. So while I do agree that it's harder to love a guarded woman, I also can say that once she lets you in, if she lets you in, you'll realize it was more than worth the work to get there.